It was designed to be the pinnacle of modern aerial combat design, the most potent and advanced fighter on the planet, and one of the single most valuable assets in the US military. The incredible fifth generation F-35 Lightning II layout has it all. Supersonic speeds, groundbreaking stealth systems, overwhelming firepower, advanced avionics, electronic warfare capabilities, and even vertical landing options. With an astronomical project price tag that is expected to surpass $1 trillion, the US is willing to pay a steep cost to guarantee the continued air supremacy of the United States for decades to come. But what was meant to be the most capable fighter on Earth, severe flaws were found during testing time and time again, issues so significant that they had to be kept under wraps to avoid America's enemies exploiting its weaknesses. An instant classic. Going back to the 1990s, the world's military superpowers have been racing to take combat aviation to a new level by pursuing the creation of new fifth generation fighters. So far, the US military has mass produced only two aircraft that can be defined as such, the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. Despite being arguably the most technologically advanced warplane in the world, and the latest operational fifth-generation fighter amid the U.S. fleets. The F-35 is not a new venture. In fact, it's over 20 years old. Many air forces are still struggling to develop their first fifth-generation fighters, but the U.S. first flew the F-22 Raptor 25 years ago, cementing its dominion over the Earth's skies. The Raptor was considered so advanced for its time that it was prohibited from being sold to any faction outside the U.S. Moreover, it was costly to build and maintain, and with a configuration specially designed for fighting purposes, it could not accommodate larger payloads. As such, the Pentagon approved the development of another advanced fighter with the same groundbreaking stealth technology, avionics, and electronic warfare capabilities, but that would be less costly and could be exported to American allies across the globe. The result was the Joint Strike Fighter Program, a collaboration between the United States the United Kingdom, Italy, Canada, Australia, the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway, and Turkey to develop a new generation of fighters capable of fulfilling fighter, strike, and ground attack roles, thus replacing dozens of platforms from several nations. As early as November of 1996, Lockheed Martin and Boeing were each awarded a $750 million contract to develop a functional demonstrator for the designs they had previously submitted. The project's scope was colossal. The new aircraft was meant to replace land and sea-based fighters, strike and attack warplanes, and required to not only take off and land in a carrier, but also perform vertical takeoffs and landings. During the long-awaited test in 2000, Lockheed Martin's X-35 demonstrator could take off in less than 500 feet, go supersonic, and land vertically on the carrier. The Boeing X-32 prototype stood no chance. Three airs. The United States Department of Defense admitted that both proposals exceeded the requested specifications, but the X-35 simply outperformed the X-32. In October of 2001, the priceless Joint Strike Fighter contract was awarded to Lockheed Martin and its X-35 project. Then, in a peculiar deviation from standard procedure, Program Manager Major General Mike Huff picked the F-35 designation on the spot which surprised the engineers at Lockheed Martin. They all expected the name F-24, according to the Department of Defense numbering protocol. With a design and an official name, the old X-35 began an arduous modification process to be transformed into the first F-35 fighter. The front fuselage was extended by five inches to accommodate the mission avionics, while the horizontal stabilizers were moved two inches back to make up for it. Additionally, the supersonic inlet changed from a four-sided to a three-sided cowl shape and was moved 30 inches back, while the fuselage section grew slightly to properly hold the weapons bays. Soon, the project was divided into three designations, the F-35A for conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B for short takeoff and vertical landings, and the F-35C for catapult-assisted takeoff from an aircraft carrier. 
the aircraft models were then upgraded to modify the bomb bays and maximize compatibility between the different iterations, but this led to an excess of weight, surpassing the requirement for adequate performance. The prototypes then went back to the design stage, causing an 18-month delay which cost over $6 billion. Still, by February of 2006, the first F-35A flew out from Fort Worth, Texas, and the new aircraft was nicknamed Lightning II in honor of World War II's P-38 Lightning. Fifth Generation Warplane In contrast to its big brother, the F-22 Raptor, the Lightning II is cheaper, but it only has one engine and is smaller, slower, and much less maneuverable. Some of its critics have cited such apparent shortcomings as inexcusable coming from such an expensive project. Still, the Lightning II is designed to be a highly versatile platform, a formidable strike aircraft equipped with the most advanced stealth systems in the world and ready to conduct electronic warfare of the highest level at a moment's notice. Compared to fourth-generation fighters such as the F-16, the Lightning II is faster, smarter, more powerful, and with a much longer operational range. Some of the most advanced technology inside the F-35 lies in its incredible avionics systems. Its intricate state-of-the-art sensor and electronic systems give pilots unparalleled situational awareness and decisive command and control capabilities during network-centric warfare. The F-35 is also designed to fight while immersed deep within the U.S. military intelligence and surveillance network, making it the smartest aircraft in the world. In fact, the plane can process massive amounts of data from its surroundings and depict it as highly detailed images for the pilot to make the best possible decisions. Some of the groundbreaking sensors that make this possible are its Northrop Grumman ANAPG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, BAE Systems ANASQ-239 Barracuda Electronic Warfare System, Northrop Grumman and Raytheon ANAAQ-37 Distributed Aperture System, Lockheed Martin ANAAQ-40 Electro-Optical Targeting System, and Northrop Grumman ANASQ-242 Communications, Navigation, and Identification Suite. What the aircraft lacks in raw speed and agility, it more than makes up for in situational awareness and combat scenario control. And despite being unable to outrun the fastest fighters in the world, its outstanding stealth system is the first layer of defense in the F-35's arsenal. Built out of the most advanced radar-absorbent materials, and using a geometric configuration designed to reduce its radar cross-section as much as possible, the Lightning II is able to deceive even the most advanced air defense systems in the world. Moreover, its unparalleled stealth capabilities exceed those of the F-22 Raptor, and are said to produce a radar signature smaller than a metal golf ball when all its systems are engaged. Weapons and Engine the Lightning II is a highly versatile weapons platform that allows it to excel as a strike and attack aircraft in varied scenarios. It has two internal weapons bays that can carry several different warheads, including nuclear payloads, all while retaining its stealth capabilities. For missions that don't require stealth, the F-35 can use six external weapon stations where AIM-9X or AIM-132 ASRAM systems can be carried. The platform can deploy various air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-surface solutions, making it highly reliable in combat situations. The F-35A is armed with a 25mm GAU-22A rotary cannon mounted internally near the left wing route with 182 rounds, while the F-35B and F-35C have no internal gun and instead use a Terma AS multi-mission pod carrying the GA-22A and 220 rounds. In addition, a Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan propels the heavily armed aircraft, giving it enough speed and acceleration to fulfill diverse roles. The engine is based on the one used by the F-22 Raptor, but the Lightning is a single-engine fighter. Despite only reaching Mach 1.6 instead of Mach 2.2 as the Raptor does, the Lightning II is a highly responsive platform with better-than-average subsonic rates and performance. Ultimately, it's considered a slow warplane compared to other fifth-generation platforms. But its stealth systems and avionics make up for the lack of speed and render the F-35 a particularly survivable aircraft. Controversy 
as far back as 2006, the F-35 has suffered one setback after another in its long development history. Early F-35B hulls showed premature cracking. The arrestor hooks of the F-35Cs were unreliable, fuel tanks were too vulnerable to lightning strikes, and the pilot's helmet displays didn't function properly. Moreover, software updates were constantly delayed due to their secret and highly complex nature. By 2009, the Pentagon estimated that the program was 30 months behind the schedule released to the public, and that more delays were bound to occur. In 2011, the program was reassessed, and all of its cost and schedule objectives were re-estimated from scratch, pushing the date of initial operational capability from 2010 to July of 2015. What's more, amid a storm of manufacturing delays and shortcomings, Secretary of Defense for Acquisition Frank Kendall said the project was plagued with, quote, acquisition malpractice. It was soon revealed that despite their similarities, the three Lightning II variations only shared 25% of their parts, far below the anticipated commonality of 70%. As of 2022, the Department of Defense continues to find severe flaws in the F-35 program. Most remain undisclosed for national security issues, but continue to add detractors to the expensive venture. Recently, F-35s were restricted from flying in storms, as their Lightning defense systems were deficient, an ironic twist in an aircraft named Lightning II. But as persistent as the issues have been, most of them stem from the relentless effort by the U.S. military to keep the powerful aircraft updated with the newest and most capable technology, and most of the issues have been resolved, slowly but assuredly. Overall, the project has proved incredibly expensive and time-consuming. However, the F-35 continues to be a promising platform that gives the U.S. and its allies fifth-generation fighter capabilities at a much lower cost than its predecessor. Thank you for watching our video. Don't hesitate to click on your screen and check out another of our Dark Documentaries channels where we delve into the most fascinating battles and the warplanes that participated in them. Stay tuned.